30 years diplomatic relations uh, and Estonia uh, regained our independence in 1991 and uh, Morocco was uh, recognized our re-independence already a, a couple of months later but we were occupied by the Soviet Union more than 50 years so actually Estonia established our independence in 1918 so we, we are really old country in the meaning <clears throat> but uh, our relations, they have been very, very practical and very close because uh, Morocco is uh, as well the strategic partner for uh, European Union. And Estonia is now already 20 years a member of uh, European Union and also a member of NATO. So uh, we have had uh, this kind of uh, practical diplomatic relations, but also bilaterally. Uh, Estonia is very well uh, developed by the digitalization. So we are the digital nation we can call as well, the number one in the world. 99% uh, of our public services are digitalized. They are online, except marriage, because we still believe that people at least should meet once if they're getting married. Yeah. But uh, now, today's visit as well, it was uh, very practical in the meaning of uh, bilateral relations, because uh, <clears throat> uh, the Morocco has launched three weeks ago a very ambitious plan for the next uh, six years uh, this is IT strategy uh, for 2030. And uh, we agreed as well that uh, we are going to cooperate a lot uh, because uh, we have experienced uh, what, what does it mean to make reforms? What does it mean to, to uh, uh, digitalize the public uh, services? <clears throat> but also uh, we are trying to reach on the new level of uh, digital governance in the meaning of personal solutions. and. To uh, be honest, Morocco has uh, developed a lot, to be honest. Uh, Morocco is a really, really outstanding country in the region of, of, of Africa, and also it's a getaway for us uh, to Africa. I'm honest, Estonia has no such a network of uh, embassies and uh, representations in, in all uh, continent of Africa. And that's why it is very important for us that we are cooperating with a country as Morocco which is like-minded, uh, understanding exactly uh, our uh, positions as well. And also we are cooperating on the United Nations level a lot. So we have different levels of EU, about the NATO partnership, but also United Nations level, but uh, bilaterally as well. I think that these uh, this different areas where we can, well, we can uh, cooperate, uh, it depends on the interest of uh, Morocco as well. Is it like the, the uh, economical environment? Is it taxation? Is it how we run our ministries? But the, the main idea is how to make uh, uh, for our citizens uh, life more uh, easier, more efficient, more transparent. And it is mainly uh, not about the technologies. It's about uh, the culture. It's about the trust of people. Uh, we have some principles in Estonia we are following already years that uh, data belongs to the person. The person has a right to control whoever uh, the public authorities are checking this data or using this data. We have the technical solutions like X-Road that you can put together working with uh, different uh, databases at the same time. It's like robust technical solution. But also we are uh, standing now for the new level about the personalized uh, services so we can use data to design the personal services in the social affairs together with the local municipalities, but also for businesses. Uh, we are, I mean, we are business environment. So it depends now on, uh, on the needs of uh, Moroccan public service uh, and the government, uh, what they need. But uh, we have developed most of our uh, public services and solutions and digitalization together with the private sector companies. So together with me here as well, I have a, a business delegation. And also we are uh, having in November this annual uh, big uh, conference in, in Tallinn, in Estonia. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a digi digital summit where all the different nations globally coming together and we are discussing how can we uh, change this, uh, the governance, digital governance. So I see many different aspects, many different fields, but now it depends as well uh, from Morocco side what they really need because uh, Morocco has already developed many solutions, so, uh, but we are open because, as I mentioned as well, 99% of our services, public services, they are online. But also we need to defend, we need to protect all this environment. So the cyber protection, cyber defense is something which is Estonia is very, very strong. So we, we, we have an opportunity to work on the both, both levels. So, 
but we agreed the next, the next meetings, uh, very practical ones already, and uh, let's see. I hope that uh, we will find uh, the very specific uh, projects. Exactly, the public sector should know what to order, what kind of services they would like to offer to the people, so we have expertise there because uh, you need to be smart, to be innovative, uh, to prepare your procurements. But also uh, our uh, private companies, uh, which has been working us more than 20 years, they have been working globally in different uh, countries all over the world. So uh, they are ready to design the solutions based on Morocco's needs. So we are not like some other big countries, maybe our big companies coming and saying that uh, take it or leave it. No, we are ready to design from zero uh, based on the needs, based on the conditions. And also communication is very important. One part of this uh, digitalization is actually the question about the trust for, of people. Uh, we know very well that uh, people just downloading different applications and, uh, and uh, clicking, uh, uh, giving away all the very delicate personal data without thinking. But at the same time, there is a risk uh, if they're thinking about uh, public sector services. They are more like, uh, I, I don't know, in fear about what may happen or not. But I'm very happy that uh, in Morocco there is a leadership, the political leadership who wants to do reforms and it is exactly what we experienced like 20, 25 years ago. Because we need to put the plan on the table, we need to finance that, but we need to know as well what we want to do, what are the services uh, to deliver, what to di di digitalize and how to put everything together. Also the legal aspects, what we have done already. So. Uh, this is like the, uh, like it has like several different layers, but uh, we can be a partner. As I understand uh, very well that we are both uh, moving on a new level of economy, in the meaning uh, not being anymore uh, just uh, like, I call it a traditional econ economy based countries, but we need innovation. We need investments, uh, but not only to get somebody's money to run the factories, but we need to be smart how to, uh, be connected to the global uh, markets, but also what Morocco has is the, 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 like the leadership position and very trustful partner for the uh, European or the other countries as a getaway uh, point to Africa. So I think that this is very stable situation economically here and also the clear plans uh, and the leadership what Morocco has gives us an opportunity as well to cooperate about investments, to bring actually uh, jobs here we have uh, plenty of companies who are looking for talented and educated people. We are lacking them. But in Morocco, the other way around, uh, we have many people about the engineering or IT who would like to get the jobs. So uh, this kind of collaboration of, of uh, making the joint ventures, not only coming here to ask the procurements, but also bringing our companies here to, to have something common and to, to, from Morocco to produce something. As well, uh, we were talking about the defense industry, innovation, what we are doing pretty well in Estonia. We are very close to this uh, Russian aggression against Ukraine. Our innovative defense uh, industry companies are there as well, in the middle of the war, testing the new solutions. So the different fields what we can do together. But I think that the main uh, word is innovation. The main word is, is how to be uh, like a hub for our regions. So we have done it in Estonia and we need to invest more, but also the other way around, our companies are ready to come here. So I think this is a common understanding that and Morocco has this ambition. Indeed, uh, Morocco is a reliable partner uh, and very close to Europe. And it is important as well that Morocco is sharing the same values, uh, same understanding of rule of law. And this environment is really trustful. So uh, it's like the, the door for European countries and European businesses to uh, the African market, which, uh, to be very frank, uh, it's very, very different uh, about the, the trust and, and the environment. All the knowledge and experience and also historical relations are here. And as well, what we see, different uh, countries are coming here, as US, uh, as, as, as China as well, or India and many others. So this is a perfect match. But at the same time, uh, Morocco is very close partner, strategic partner to European Union. So uh, we are the member of European Union as well. We can be uh, like uh, uh, the good advocates uh, because uh, European Union is like 27 countries, very different interests. Uh, but what we common uh, understand, what our common understanding is in EU, is that uh, Morocco is strategic partner on all different levels as well, economical development. So. Uh, 
I think that this geo, geogra geo, geo, geographical uh, location is like the key word for for Morocco, and I think that Morocco really knows exactly how to behave here because of the long, very long history, historically, but also the, the, the ambition uh, for innovation. So I can see that uh, it can uh, fit in. And as a member of EU, as Estonia is, we have this, uh, the package behind us, so all this environment of EU. So uh, we are already fulfilling all these quality criteria, and also we can be part of the lobbying EU about different decisions. Because, to be honest, in this globalization world, we need a solid partnership and uh, mainly the, the gateway to, to Africa, as not only Estonia, but as EU. Yes, Estonia has decided now to support this uh, autonomous plan, uh, which Morocco has uh, already introduced 2007 uh, under the United Nations uh, resolution and with the United Nations Sierra Secretary. So uh, we are there to support this plan. Of course, uh, what we need everywhere, as well in our region as here, is a peaceful solution and also recognition that uh, uh, we don't need any kind of military conflicts. And, and, and I think that uh, in this region here, uh, tensions are everywhere. We, 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 we see it. Uh, Middle East is not far away. And also we have Iran somewhere and we have many other countries. And also we have the same attitude or uh, how to say the experience if you have an aggressive neighbor so uh, we share this and that's our our role i think is uh, in european union also in united nations to stand for this multilateral uh, uh, world about the uh, rule of law about united nations charter and also to find the peaceful solutions yes and ne to negotiate because we see too many conflicts uh, globally without ne uh, negotiations and also uh, Estonia is, is bigger than actually we are uh, on the conflict of, uh, of uh, Russia and aggression to Ukraine. Estonia is together with Argentina is, uh, is, uh, is leading the President Zelensky 10 points peace plan, the point number five, which is about the territorial integrity and United Nations Charter. So this is our role as well, using this uh, this global reach uh, together with our allies to find the peaceful solutions, but at the same time following the United Nations Charter. We all, yeah. all agreed in 1945. So, and be honest, this is under the great and heavy attacks now in different levels. So, I think that this step and decision from our side is keeping more stability to, to this region and also is a way uh, and a step uh, forward to find the consensus on EU level, which is one great supporter and, and strategic partner for Morocco as well. Indeed, the uh, Estonian uh, Morocco parliamentarian group visited uh, Morocco and also had a great, a great meeting today with the speaker of uh, the parliament uh, of, of Morocco, uh, House of Representatives uh, today, and uh, we are waiting uh, the, the, the visit to Estonia as well. But uh, if you ask uh, how, how does it help, but it's, it's everything about persons. Even we are digitalizing everything and, and we see each other somewhere on an international uh, level. It is very important that our members of parliament and our different uh, groups, they're having personal relations. So I see as well that uh, we are waiting for the visit and also next year uh, in May we have this uh, uh, business forum, uh, African business forum. It's like the, the big and huge event in Estonia in May where we are uh, waiting for all the different companies but also different politicians to participate. So this is like networking uh, event that is taking place somewhere in Estonia but last year we, we got uh, close to 800 de delegations all over the Africa. So I, 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 I think that, uh, I believe in that, that this kind of personal relations and, and many on parliamentary level uh, they are actually representing uh, people straight forward after the elections. So this is very useful and these relations, they remain for, for years. So uh, today's meeting with, uh, with the speaker was, was about that exactly what you asked. I can say one thing that all Estonians know exactly where Morocco is and uh, what about Morocco is. Uh, our tourism is increasing here and uh, more and more people are visiting. But also, I think that we need to advertise uh, the opportunities uh, uh, of studying and also cultural exchange. So uh, I do hope uh, to see more uh, Moroccan students in Estonia and the other way around, that not only come here to, to visit because your weather is better, but also we can establish this kind of uh, uh, relations. And finally, what we have the, 
uh, witness that if somebody is coming from different countries to study in Estonia, we have very good universities for like three years or even five years, uh, this tie will be forever. Maybe even, uh, you know, to be live in Estonia or the other way around. So uh, it is definitely part of the cooperation uh, development between our two countries and nations.